Hello, hello everyone, and I'm Connell Finlay, the director and owner of The Seller's Store in New Zealand, and welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. Today what we're going to be doing is having a little tasting note, and what we're going to be tasting is this beautiful, beautiful Gewürztraminer from Clendin and Family Vineyards. Here's a little bit of it, I don't know if that's going to zoom in or focus in or not, but uh, this is a little bottle shot. We'll make sure we put a little proper picture up there for you so you can see all the details. And also we'll have all the details, of course, for the URL, pricing and all the rest down below. So then you can go out and buy a bottle uh, and find out how much it costs. So Clendenin Family Vineyards. If the name Clendenin sounds familiar to you, it might well do if you are a California wine connoisseur. Uh, of course, it is uh, Jim Clendenin. And Jim Clendenin is the crazy wild man, and he's absolutely eccentric and amazing and brilliant. And the man behind ABC, or what I call ABC, is um, Aubon Climot. Um, and Aubon Climot have been producing outstanding uh, Pinot Noirs and Chardonnay uh, in very much a Burgundian style in uh, Santa Barbara County in Southern California for many, many, many decades, well, a couple of decades now at least, uh, since about the 1980s, if I remember correctly. And so Aubon Clement, or ABC, they've always been known for their Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, that's their specialty. But he started up a... a few years back now, he started up with a few of his children and uh, making the Clendin and Family Vineyards range as well. So this actually allows him to have a slightly more uh, specialized range of wines and a bunch of other different varietals which aren't necessarily from Burgundy, hence why we have the Gewürztraminer. He also has other fantastic things like Nebbiolo, he's got, uh, well, he's got Chardonnay, yes, uh, and Grenache and Syrah and other things like this as well. Anyway, so this is the 2013 vintage of the Santa Maria uh, Valley Gewürztraminer, and it's just fantastic. What I like about this, and what I like about a lot of uh, New World uh, Gewürztraminers at the moment, is that they are a little bit more restrained. Uh, most people that have tried a Gewürztraminer, they know that it can be quite rosy, quite Turkish delighty, quite lychee-ish, uh, very much in your face, quite an aromatically abundant sort of white wine, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, and they can also uh, often be a little bit off dry, uh, or a little bit sweet. Um, but what is this, what this particular Gewürztraminer is, and what quite a few others on our website are uh, like, they're a little bit more restrained, as I'm saying, they're quite dry, uh, they focus more on the acidity, so there's this perfect balance there between sort of fruit sweetness and acidity there, making quite a, a lovely uplifting sort of white wine as well, um, and a little bit more restrained in aromatics as well, so you're getting actually a, a slightly different take on Gewürztraminer than you would uh, by some classic examples from Alsace in particular. Anyway, so let's uh, let's give this a sniff, eh? Mmm. So what I love about this, it's it's very floral uh, for me, um, and so there's these lovely sort of honeysuckle and uh, sort of citrus blossom flavors as well, which are just just lovely, really. <clears throat> but then, of course, there's these lovely sort of uh, peachy, nectarine flavors. I'd probably say sort of yellow nectarine yellow peaches uh, in there, so quite tropical, quite stone fruity, which is interesting again, so you're not necessarily getting, as I was saying, those sort of Turkish delight and abundantly obvious uh, sort of lychee flavours. Swirling around in the glass is very important, so you can sort of bring out those aromatics, and a lot of people don't really do that, or at least don't do it enough. Um, but you really, I mean, if you're going to be paying, uh, I think this is on our website for about uh, $45, $50, I think the current vintage is. Last year's vintage was slightly uh, slightly cheaper. But I mean, if you're going to be spending that sort of money on a bottle, you really want to be making sure that you're getting the most out of it. So that also means that you shouldn't be chilling it down too much, because if you chill it down, then you're not going to be able to uh, smell half the beautiful aromas that Jim Clendenin and his team have worked so hard to put into the wine. Um, you know, by winemaking influences and picking at certain times. Mm. And so as it, it sort of opens up a little bit more, again, those sort of floral notes really come out and you're getting this beautiful sort of ginger and sort of slightly honeyed note as well. Anyway, let's give it a, let's give it a taste. Mmm. It 
So lots of fruit sweetness there, lots of fruit ripeness. And I say fruit sweetness as opposed to sweetness because this is this is bone dry um, and lots of acidity there as well. So quite uplifting, not necessarily high acidity like you would expect from a, a Muscadet or you would expect from a Sauvignon Blanc or a Riesling, but definitely quite medium medium to high acidity there um quite fleshy on the palate not so much so um definitely palate wise and palate weight wise it definitely is a, quite like a sancerre or quite like a very very uh, sort of tropical or very um very ripe sauvignon blanc so you do have that sort of palate weight there and the acidity there it's very dry mm, it's delicious really and again, those sort of floral f flavors are coming through there quite predominantly, that sort of white fleshy peach. Um, and also a slight um, uh, golden queen peaches. If you, if you know what I'm talking about, the golden queen peaches, I, I absolutely love them. Uh, they're a real specialty. Well, I, they've always been a specialty for me anyway, as far as my childhood was concerned. Um, golden queen peaches are those yellow skinned uh, peaches and they're just well, they're just fleshy and gorgeous, and that's just summer, really, uh, summer um, in a fruit, uh, as it were. And this is, in many ways, a summer in a summer in a bottle. Um, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, on the nose, and as it opens up now, even a little bit more, you're starting to really appreciate those sort of ginger notes, um, those sort of spicy notes, and a little bit more of those sort of aromatics there, um, floral aromatics coming through as well. But again, on the palate, I mean, it's got a lot of fruit sweetness and a lot of fruit ripeness there, which is very, very abundant and what you'd expect from a, a Californian wine. And um, the finish just sort of goes on forever and you're sort of getting these lovely sort of lemon curd and sort of these lemon zesty, limey zesty uh, sherbet flavors sort of sizzling down your palate for oh, quite some time. It's absolutely lovely. So uh, I highly recommend getting yourself a glass, well, getting yourself a bottle or two. And so make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share with all your friends and uh, tell us, have you tried this wine? Have you tried any other of Clendenin Family Vineyards wines? If not, you should search them out and enjoy. And of course, cheers.